I've always been a builder and like a fabricator, so it's always been, I think that's what I enjoy doing the most. Like anything I'm concerned with or if something's even bothering me, it's like it's just really easy to put into my work. The piece I'm making for Innovation Square is the first piece that I've actually had on display for the public to see, for people who don't, who know little about art to see. It's supposed to resemble a network cable or like a phone cable charging a phone and it's going to twirl up and at the top is going to be a birdhouse and at the bottom is going to be a phone. So I'm playing with this idea of like the control that technology has over people. I think the students in this course are very brave because they come in knowing nothing about metals. They know nothing about welding. Um, some of them know nothing about tools. And suddenly, in January, they're introduced to all of it. And they have to master all of the techniques before they're able to actually make a sculpture. It's crazy. Taking something that's in your mind to three-dimensional is um, probably one of the scariest things, but also the most exhilarating thing. I am going to be making a portable um, driving range, driving station in which there will be a trailer that you hook up to either golf cart, truck, or car and you climb up it and you can practice your driving range. I want people to look at it and say, why is there a driving range that's just driving around town? It's going to be very exciting to see how people respond to them. Um, and I am really looking forward to the students seeing what it's like to put a sculpture out in a public space. I hope people would understand that it's like, it's okay to just enjoy what's around you versus what's on your screen. It's a little surreal to imagine that I have this piece out and people are walking around and it, it's actually the public. I wouldn't have the opportunity to do this without UF and Innovation Square on my side. I really appreciate that and people having the trust in me because without them, I wouldn't be able to do this.